What's up, Neil? Super early, I know, on the West Coast. I believe it's 7.30 a.m. But I got to get this in before church here, man. So let's get this show on the road. All right, this is the Makita. Brand new. Um, it's a two-gallon wet dry vac with dust extractor. All right, so this is a little bit different than your normal portable uh, shop vacs, whether from Milwaukee, Rigid, uh, Ryobi, DeWalt. Um, now, obviously, this one is brushless also. Um, so this is pretty much the first brushless uh, wet dry vac to hit the market here. What's up, Samal? Yep. Well, you can set up your own hose. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to have accessories for it, Neil. Um, I, don't, I haven't opened it yet to, to know that. But um, it's a good question, actually. Let's go to some of the specs here. Uh, but yeah, one of the pretty much the first brushless uh, wet dry vac. Now, Milwaukee has two of them out. They have the old gen and the new gen, both two gallon. Uh, Rigid actually has a three gallon. And, you know, this is 57 CFM here, all right? The Rigid is definitely the most powerful of the wet dry vacs that I have used. I haven't used the new Ryobi yet, so. But as you see, and the first one to come out was the, was the uh, DeWalt. What's up, bud? Um, so as you can see, and just obvious, you know, the way technology works is as these vacs are getting newer, they're getting better. So the CFM is getting a little bit better. Now we got some dust extracting capabilities with this, um, Makita version. So I like the size of it, very compact. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been putting some pictures up on it. But um, LED battery indicator, nothing great there. Carrying top handle stores out of the way for increased comfort during transport. Got a powerful brushless motor with 57 CFM um, and 27 inch of water lift of suction using an. 18 volt battery it's got a HEPA filter so obviously the guys who are rocking with the Milwaukee's of the world and the, and the DeWalt um, you know portable shop vax you don't got the HEPA filter so uh, efficient HEPA filter captures 99.97 .97 of particulates 0.3 microns and larger Battery compartment keeps it protected from harmful debris. Battery's not included. 60 minutes of runtime with a 5 amp hour battery. Wow. So what I'm guessing, obviously, with this unit, and again, guys, I just got this yesterday. So, but there's probably a control dial here that would that will probably control CFMs or CFM. Uh, CFMs. So you can probably at max 57 CFM. I doubt very highly you're going to get 60 minutes of runtime, obviously. So I like that because if you're doing light uh, work, uh, a light application, and you plan on using it for a while, it's good to have that dial where you can kind of tune it down um, to save battery life on a lower CFM setting. Um, but again, I don't know personally because it does. We'll be opening it live here. But you got onboard hose and nozzle storage for easy, convenient transport. And it's compact. And it comes with it. Now, I shouldn't say it comes with it. There, Like I said, I think it was Neil who asked about how long the hose is. Oh, jeez. Um, you can also, uh, like I said, get accessories. So I know one of the accessories is a shoulder strap. Uh, it's only 10.1 pounds, but, you know, obviously, if you're going to be using it, and again, you know, what's great about this is there's something I want to check out with this, and when I do the video, which I might even do later today, um, 
do uh see in action a little bit i want to see if i can set up some of the accessories from the makita um you know their old sh i wouldn't call it their old shop vac but their old vacuum where you can put the long handle to do you know floorings flooring um you know on hardwood and stuff like that with this hose will it connect so now you know you're talking about and that's what makes the rigid stuff pretty good is that a lot of their stuff mm -hmm. a lot of their hoses and attachments go with every rigid you know shop back around and that's one good thing about rigid too with the filters every filter works for every you know shop vac so um yeah xcv 11z yo yo swamp Fox picks logan p all right so let's open her up uh, oh and let's take a look and let's take a look The wall is nuts with the million. Yeah, that, that that's the worst one. And again, it is the oldest, but I mean, and it's it's really expensive still. The Dewalt version, their shop back, just really underpowered. Again, it's it's been out a long time. They really need to update it. But they do got a couple, you know, new backs out. But um, you know, you're talking about some major vax you know they got some oh this thing is really light wow really light guys really compact um as you can see here super super i mean probably and when i do the video i'll have the milwaukee and the and the rigid for a size con comparison but definitely not as long as the milwaukee it's more shaped like the rigid if you guys have seen the rigid, it's more, it, it's higher than it is wide. So, but, um, I like the design. Cause I like the flat top. That was the one thing I didn't like about the rigid. You know, if you do got to lay something on here or, you know, if you want to stand on here real quick, again, probably not recommended, but with the Milwaukee, that's why I like it. I love the design of it. You know, in one of the videos, you see me cutting wood on it. You see me using it as this little step ladder. But and I like this nice little onboard storage system right here. And that's another bad thing about the rigid. Uh, but yeah, so here's your little crevice attachment. Uh, right here is where you put the battery. So when they ever do come out with another battery, you got a lot of room here. I'm hoping. I mean, you really can't tell. But obviously you can get your six amp hour battery in here. Cause if you've ever seen Makita's six amp hour battery, it's pretty much the same size as the five, but you guys got to remember with a five amp hour battery, they're saying 60 minutes. Um, yeah, not really sure what's going on with Makita and their nine amp hour battery. Are they coming out with a nine, you know, around two years ago, I was told and I got a picture of the forthcoming nine amp hour battery i don't know if they hold if they scrap that whole you know you know release are they going to come out with maybe a seven amp hour battery i said you know everybody's fixed on nine amp hour um you know we're going to maybe come out with an 8.2 who knows but they got to get a bigger battery for tools like this um you know these some of these standalone miter saws um you know outdoor power equipment these vax but i'll put it in here eh, let me just before we go over it real quick so much like all the shop vax well, let me just go over the, the tool so you got another area here here's another attachment so i like i like their onboard um storage of the attachments on this unit um and here's your hose attachment. So when you're all done, you kind of just flip it. 
right in here. So, you know, or whatever the heck way that you had it. But we'll, we're going to test her out. And right here is your um, dashboard, we'll call it. You got your um, battery indicator monitor right here with a little button here. You press it, and it'll read it. So let's do that. And obviously, yeah, it looks like you got two speeds. So this is your off mode. Oh, let me go down, sorry. Your off mode. Then you got setting one. And this is probably your full max uh, CFM. So that's pretty cool. I, I w expected it to have a little bit, you know, a couple more settings than two to get that major uh, runtime. Unless, you know, speed setting one is really low CFM, but 60 minutes, I don't know, man. Because uh, with a nine amp hour battery, you're looking at around 30 minutes with the Milwaukee, all right? With a 9 amp hour battery, around 30 minutes with the Milwaukee. And we tested that. We did it live, all right? So to get 60 minutes with a 5, um, this must be pretty low. But let's check it out. So yeah, maybe I should show you that. Too. All right, so... To get into the canister where your debris is going to be filled. I like these latching systems. Some of them are kind of a pain in the neck. I like that. that. Real simple. Um, and really simple. Wow. So much like all the canisters. I mean, this looks just like, you know, the... Um, actually, it looks just like the uh, DeWalt canister. And... About the same size. It's a, it's a two gallon canister. Uh, you know, nothing special, but this is. And you got a brushless motor in here, of course. But right here, the HEPA filter. Um, and to replace one of these, you know, we got I gotta check it out. Hopefully that they are released already, so you can kind of get a price point of what it's going to cost you. If you want to, you know, get into this uh, Makita and what, you know, and this is great. Like I said, uh, Neil brought it up to a degree, you know, as a dust extractor, you know, this is a hundred and seventy nine dollar unit. All right. Um, that is awesome. If you are in any of the dust extraction um, tools, you know how expensive they are. Good dust extractor, 400 up to 700 bucks. So. You know, it's only a two gallon. Um, it's light, it's portable, so it's a good way if you're not doing too much. Um, you know, yeah. How many times a page? Oh, talk under load. Yep, that's the middle. The wall is nice with the million side. Yep. How did they get caught cheating? Oh, we're talking Patriots. How did the Patriots get caught cheating? Yeah, they're gonna, they're not gonna win today. Let's just relax. I, I don't even think it's gonna be a close game, to be honest with you. In my opinion, it might come back and bite me, but I think the Rams are gonna win this game pretty easily. I always said whoever won the NFC Championship game was gonna win the Super Bowl. So you gotta remember, guys, the Patriots let up. I forget what the final score of the KC New England game was uh, two weeks ago, the AFC Championship game, but it was 14 nothing at halftime. All right. Once KFC, KFC, oh my God. Once KC, the Kansas City Chiefs, kind of went, went into halftime. They found out, you know, this is the defense that they're doing. They made some adjustments. Remember, they scored zero points in the first half, they scored. I don't know if it was 31 or 34 points they put up in two quarters on New England. And they don't have any running game whatsoever, Kansas City, none. And they got a rookie quarterback, all right? Now you got Gurley, you know, you got golf, you got those receivers. I think this might be, I think this might not be too good for New England. All right, so let's get back to it. All right, so... Again, this is the big separate. This is what separates this. Uh, besides being a dust extractor, of course, um, you got the HEPA filter. All right. So, 
really compact unit nice you can tell it's really well made as you would expect um you got a nice um wow this is pretty cool so you got a a strip in here um obviously for dust and and water to you know kind of keep out of your your motor here much like a lot of the pack out boxes and the tough system you got this nice foam uh stripping in there so again to protect this motor this has a brushless motor in it um again you can do wet um it can be used with you know as a wet vac a dry vac dust extractor um and if remember if you're going to use this as a wet vac i tell people all the time some people think that take the filter off take this off all right but yeah super light guys and again the one pro about the dewalt is the size of it it's it's really small and let me tell you this looks very much like that dewalt unit but obviously you're looking at a much <laughs> better unit obviously you know that the walt unit is just it's it's just old it's an old unit um but super compact really nice design um let's turn her on All right, so let's check the battery. Should be full. I just took it off the charger. Oh, I don't like that. So you got to kind of. I don't like that at all. All right, so you got to kind of leave it pressed in to get any type of um, reading on it. I don't like it. And it's really hard to press this button not a big deal but you know i like them you press it and it stays on for like three seconds five second delay so not a big deal but really kind of awkward all right so you got your two settings and then you know like i said when i do the review of it we'll go over all this uh, the minute details of how much cfm on setting one versus setting two and all that but um let's put her on Give me two seconds, guys. I'm gonna see if I can. I got this out of my rigid, my rigid sander. Okay. All right, so this is obviously some, uh, this is from my rigid orbital sander here. Just some nice, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, it's very, I, that's the thing, guys. I don't know this actual CFM numbers yet. Um, yeah, what's with that? It's like old, ready to look like somebody had greasy hands on here but so here's some dust from my orbital sander some some shavings uh from my sander let's see if what it can do uh, let's see if it can I, I expect it to but let's just see it on setting one its lowest setting try to pick up some of this dust here So obviously, and I like that. I like how they have that setting there. Um, I expected it to have, you know, maybe three, but again, 60 minutes with a five amp hour battery. Um, but again, like I said, for your lighter applications, 
there's no reason for it to be at, you know, full kilt, so to speak. You're just really wasting battery if you're doing light, you know, sawdust, um, you know, whatever you're, you're doing. That's just really light applications. Um, I love the fact that you can tune her down to save battery life. Um, let's put her on... Uh, Let's try her on setting two. Again, this is your full uh, 57 CFM. I'd rather have the DeWalt stack vac. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, Zach, it's not for everybody. But, you know, like I said, you're going to buy what platform you're in. If you're in DeWalt's platform, you're in Milwaukee's platform. You're probably not going to go out and buy this. But, you know, you're talking about a unit there, the DeWalt stack vacuum. I think they're around three to four hundred dollars. This is one hundred and seventy-nine bucks, and you know, being able to use this as a portable vac, where you know it's ten pounds, it takes up a small space. It's only a two-gallon. That might make more sense for some people. All right, so let's take a look. All quarterbacks says the, the balls are deflated too. They never cheated, he says. Damn it, I want chicken now. It looks like Makita. Yeah, Michael B. No problem. Yeah, well, you know, it's brand new. What's up, Sean O'Brien? Um, Big A, what's up, buddy? And I'm sorry, Bow Anton. I, I always, I miss you. B.A. Well, how about B.A.? Bow and on. Matt Day, what's up, buddy? Yeah, that's right, Zach. A little much for a vac for that DeWalt. So this is more, again, um, you know. If you want something small, compact, and portable with dust extracting capabilities, Makita's got you covered here. Um, and like I said, I'll go over to my likes and dislikes of it when I do a full review on it. Now let's try it on setting two. All right. Before I, I start, guys... Now, I just turned it on. I'm sure everybody who has the Milwaukee or the, especially the rigid, but the Milwaukee too, have just heard a awesome pro to this vacuum. And that is the sound, the noise. I mean. If you own the Milwaukee or the rigid, Especially the rigid. The rigid is like a, an airplane, you know, or a helicopter going off. And the, the Milwaukee's a little bit less, but look how quiet. And this is on, you know, it's full 57 CFM mode. Pretty quiet, right? Pretty quiet. And I like the dial on it real quick. You know... With the Milwaukee, it's one of, you know, you got to press, I like snap, 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 you know, again, it's the small things that I'll talk about, but let's see it on setting two with this debris, the sawdust here. All right, so obviously not the hardest application, but yeah, I like it. You're going to pay a premium for this um, back over the Milwaukee and the Rigid and the DeWalt. Not really so much for the DeWalt. The DeWalt is still $129, but guys, not only do you get a brushless motor, all right, and that's where I think the runtime really kind of helps this unit over the Milwaukee, over the Rigid, over the DeWalt. You know, they all have brushed motors. Now, did I expect it to go from 30 minutes with a 9 for the Milwaukee to 60 minutes with the 5? No, that's because of the, the settings, all right? But, you know, comparatively speaking, you know, I think with a 5, maybe you'll get 20 minutes with the Milwaukee. With this, you know, we'll, we're going to test her out with a, with a, with a 5, and um, we'll see. But don't be... You know, the one thing I want to tell people, 
don't be distracted by the noise level or be persuaded because this is very, you know, I would probably say 30% less decibels than the Milwaukee, but don't think you're losing power just because it's not as loud. Uh, cause it's, it kind of, sometimes you get that feeling, oh, it's kind of this thing. I don't, I think the Milwaukee's wow. Yeah. Because it's, that's because it sounds like a helicopter, but you got the brushless motor again. And again, 179, the Milwaukee's 99. So for 80 bucks, you're getting a brushless motor. You're getting longer runtime and you're getting that dust extractor, the dust extracting, um, feature to this vac here um yeah the hose is pretty nice um someone asked let's obviously very simple on and off uh this will probably uh, again when i go over the review this will probably easily stretch around over over six feet i would say maybe more probably six to seven feet you can get out of this but again um I'm sure they're going to have, you know, accessories to this down the road or, you know, we already know that there's a, uh, a shoulder strap, but I like the unit guys. I, I like the way, um, I, I love the size of it really light. I like this, um, little area here where you turn it on and off. I like the dial, so to speak. Um, and I like the onboard storage. I think it's going to be a nice, let um, me see that. I think it's going to be a good popular unit for Makita. The, again, Makita is now coming, you know, last to the party. And if you always hear me, you know, Makita is probably my favorite platform. But they always seem to be a little bit late to the party on certain tools. Now, they were first to the party with the coffee machine, right? The, the, the coffee maker. But with real important stuff like you know let's get a a, a wet dry vac for for these people you know you, you were kind of left behind a little bit but again this is the makita brushless two gallon 18 volt wet dry vac with dust extraction i'll have the link below it's 179 bucks and um we'll have a more detailed review in the next couple days all right, people. Go Rams. Yeah, definitely, Zach. Definitely not as loud. I couldn't believe it. And again, you know, having that, you know, two setting mode. You know, I mean, this is setting one. You can hear me talk. So if you're in an area where you really, you know, don't or can't be that loud, you got setting one as an option. Here's setting two, and you can hear me talk. But yeah, they, they did. They did a nice job with the design of it. I like it. Um, yeah, I would have liked it to be three gallon. Um, yeah. I agree. Three gallon would have been perfect, but two gallon is still, you know, you got a pretty big canister here. And let's just take a look real quick at the debris. And I, I like the latching system with the Milwaukee. No matter when you when you take the uh, the clamps down, it's still a pain in the neck, a pain in the neck with one hand to get the actual unit off of it. I mean, you saw it. Real simple. Boom. Yep, here it is in there. But, and there's the filter. But, with the Milwaukee, oh yeah, it is, it's terrible. Yeah. With one hand, forget it. I mean, we'll do it again. Right here, you want to take it off? I got one hand holding the phone, obviously. Now again, it gets caught with the Milwaukee, with the rigid. You unleash your little latches. They still are kind of connected. You know, it's still a pain in the neck to pull the main uh, motor off of the, you know, the canister. Real simple with the Makita. Boom. So, you know, definitely, um, 
a nice unit here. And you expect it with, with Makita, you expect it to be a nice, well-made unit. So, all right, folks, let's go L.A. Bam, bam, trigger, damn.